Hello, and welcome to an all-new episode of Men and Women Talk, the Mars Venus Show. I'm your host, all the way live from Los Angeles, California, Kent Tay. And I'm joined by my wonderful, beautiful, talented co-host, the one and only Shannon. How are you doing, Shannon? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. We were off last week, so I didn't get it. My my Shannon fix. So what Whatever. you do, girl? I know you've been busy out there in Florida. Oh, I'm being punked at work mm. uh oh by by your crew i told you i feel like i have an undercover psychotic boss <laughs> oh man i i've had many of those i don't know if they was undercover but we they were definitely i've had psychotic bosses like, so. where's ashton kutcher because clearly he's being fucked around this piece <laughs> well I'm glad you now you look better than you did two weeks ago because two weeks ago you looked like you was about to fall I, apart. I, I felt am, so bad for you. I'm trying to hold on right now. This is a Shannon I grew up on, the smiling, happy Shannon, you know. So I like that. Do what it do. All right. All right. This is episode 149. And we are uh I'm so happy to have this brother back on the show. Uh we're doing a, a, a um, a two-on-one interview with this brother, brother King Hef. How you doing, man? I'm amazing, sir. How you doing? I'm doing excellent, man. And uh, it's a beautiful day here in Los Angeles. I uh, you know, uh, I got Purell on deck, and I'm just happy, uh, and I'm happy to be here with you. Um, for those who may not remember when you was on the show, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself before we get started. Wow. All right. Well, my name is King Hef. I am the official ambassador of debauchery and nasty motherfuckers. Right. <clears throat> I also created um, this wonderful thing called the Hef's Lifestyle, which encompasses the supreme sexual supplement vitamins called Pink Hef's, which is for women and Black Hef's, which is for men. And I'm also a sensual dominant. That means BDSM folk. All right. We're going to get d deep into what that actually means and whatnot. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I'm I'm not very knowledgeable in that arena, even though we've done shows about mm -hmm. it. So I'm going to be trying. I'm going to be learning. All right. No so, problem, sir. But I want to first start off about um, your product. Uh, yes. um, pink and black heft. Talk mm -hmm. about the origin of it and exactly what it does and, and that stuff. Um, well, back in two th well, sorry, back in late 2009, early 2010, I had a, I was involved with this one product called Magic Power Coffee, and Magic Power Coffee was an all natural. It was a what they called a Viagra coffee, right? So it really worked well for men, but it worked well for women. So one of my good, one of my good business partners over in China, he hit me up. He was like, "Man, how's the coffee doing?" I was like, "Oh, it's going well. You know, I'm I'm building my business." He said, "Well, why don't you come out with your own thing?" And what what happened was when I was marketing and selling the coffee, I had men they're like, man, you need to come out of this coffee in a pill. I'm like, dude, it's no pill. It's just put it in some hot water, dissolve it, drink it, right? Mm -hmm. But people kept talking about the having it in the pill form. So I talked to my buddy. He was like, well, listen, you should come out. I said, listen, I don't have that kind of money. Or that time he was like, I didn't, he said, there were two things I didn't ask you. I didn't ask you about money or I didn't ask you about time. I asked you if you want to do it. I was like, well, oh, now you put it that way. Sure. What I got to do? He said, well, my brother-in-law is a master herbalist at this, this company and um, they supplement company over there and they make supplements that go around the world. I was like, Oh shoot. I was like, well, set it up. So we set up a, a Skype call about two weeks later I told him exactly the herbs that I wanted to go in. We had a great long conversation. Sort of got we he and I sort of got together on the formalization. Uh, started where um, and this is I told him I said okay I want this pill for men. However, I need from one for women too. And he paused for a second. He was like, "Now, no, this is like late 2009. Nobody had a product for women. Mm. Nobody. Nobody." nowhere i mean they had spanish fly right. right they had they had stuff like that but nobody had a product that was strictly a supplement vitamin that was strictly for women that was for their sexual that that was for helping them have the most incredible sexual opportunities and feelings and deliciousness ever 
right? Nobody had that. So this is like 2008, 2009, we had this conversation. So we go forward into 2011, um, Black Health comes out um, in 2010, right? Black Health came out first, right? Because, but the B- Pink Health came out a year later in 2011, right? So I had two, Pink Health really, maybe, I really didn't start really, really going hard with Pink Health until I decided it was New Year's Eve 2013, right? And I was just like, you know what? 2014 is the year of pink hefts. Like I knew what I like. I knew like I had I had I had plenty of women on board who were very influential. Um, my my good sister Glamazar Tyoma, she she's like the one of the world's top sex experts. She was on board. She was a fan of the product. It had done well for her. She was always talking about it. So I had really I had women on board with this thing, and I knew Black Health was going to be was going to be incredibly successful. But I knew that pink hefts was going to make me a billionaire. Mm. Right? Right, right? Because because nobody once again nobody was focusing on on women and their sexual needs, right? Mm. Everything was about men. You had you had commercials on TV, you see the Viagra Cialis, when you go to the when you go to the sex store, they have a big old section in there with men's supplements. You go to the gas station, do they ever have stuff for women? other than dildos and, and lube and all that stuff. They got that stuff right, right. because of supplement. Th- their section is really, really small. Even to this day when you go, you may see one, you may see two, or you may see three. That's it. But men have 30. Right? right? Right. Because once again, just because of how the world is, nobody is really... They, nobody really cares about women's sexual sexual needs and stuff like that. It just... It just it, and it's very evident when you walk into a sex store in a, in a gas station, that's what you see. So it just started, started snowballing. And then in 2016, uh, Glamour me she was doing freelance work for Ebony Magazine. And she was like, bro, she was like, I got an opportunity if you, if you down. She said, I just want to know if you want to do it. I said, what? She said, I'm going to write an article for you for Ebony Magazine. I was like, what? Oh, wow. Now, now I'm, now, I'm, I'm basically two years really p- pushing, pushing, pushing. But when that Ebony, Ebony Magazine article came out, that like, that that was like the springboard of everything, right? Wow. That was a spring. And and I'm not taking anything away from Black Health. And Black Health has been proven, like men, I have loyal customers. Men really love it. Even to this day, men who are trying to, for the first time, I still have customers that I've had who loyal customers who've been purchasing Black Health for me ever since the beginning. Oh, right. No. So that is that is that's damn near nine years. Right. But pink, but pink health. Mm-mm-mm. And it's amazing the stories and testimonies that I'm hearing from women about what pink health has done for their life. Wow. Incredible. Okay. Incredible stories. All right. Now, we're going to get into black health, but I'm really curious about pink health. Mm-hmm. OK, so first of all, is there a specific Kind of thing a woman's going through that where she would need it. What kind of happens when she uses it? What does it exactly do? It doesn't do. Okay, so like I tell people, it's not that you need it. It on, it it only makes you better, right? Uh-huh. So like you don't have to be going through anything, right? You, uh-huh. If you a lot of times the most important thing that pink Hefts does is allows women to really be present, relaxed, and focused, uh-huh. right? Because mm-hmm. the one thing that I that I found out, a lot of women have told me this, is that women have a lot of times they can't get out of their head. They're thinking about all kind of stuff, work, kids, bills, and they're only they're only a percentage of their doing sex, right? Mm-hmm. And they may feel a lot of pressure or right now, and because their partners aren't really focused on their pleasure, they're just worrying about them. Like I'm gonna get this dude off or this this this. Like the only time they really focus on their pleasure is when they're masturbating, right? Mm-hmm. And then women are only experiencing. Uh, most women are only experiencing like, clitoral orgasms. Most women do not have orgasms through penetration. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. all right. So not only does it allow your mind to be more focused to be more fully present, to relax, but you'll be even wetter than you normally are, right? And when I know women, they be like, oh, I get wet enough, but the, but it's like this. Even though the earth is fully covered, is is mostly water, right? Mm-hmm. The earth doesn't complain when it rains. <laughs> right. Right. The earth ain't like, I got too much water. It's still raining. Right, right. right? 
They still do come in, all right? Also, they'll be more sensitive to touch, not just the vagina, not just the nipples, but all over their whole body, right? Their sexual desire will increase exponentially. They will be tighter on the inside, a.k.a. the super snapper, as we like to call it, right? right. And what it, what it does is it, it, allows, it allows women to finally feel what sex is supposed to be like. Wow. Right? Okay. Oh, it's 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 the, it's the most it's the most it's one of the most amazing amazing things. And every day I get testimonies from women all over the world, like literally all over the world, just telling me about what what this what that incredible vagina vitamin has done for them. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. So okay, so is this something that guys are buying for their woman? Like, here you go, sweetie. Like, if she don't know about it, be like, you might want to try this out. Well, put it this way. Now, the smart guy, uh-huh. the smart guy ha- has 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 some pink hairs on deck too, right? Oh uh, shit! But the smart guy. But most men are only really concerned about their own pleasure, right? They ain't really caring about her. They're not even letting women know they taking black hairs. Right. Like, men ain't letting women know they going to the grocery store getting this pill, getting the charge up beforehand, right? They're not telling them. They're not having those real honest conversations about sex where they can where where they feel that she'll be able to fully accept the fact that 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 he's taking some because Shannon, you, from a woman's point of view, like dudes be out here like, oh, I got it, I'm straight. No, you ain't, sir. Mm-mm. No, you, 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 you got a lot of two minute Tonys and limp Larrys out here. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. You know what I'm saying? The dude, dude bust that first and it's over. He like, baby, help me get back up. Uh, <laughs> help me, you know, suck on it, rub on it some more, right? So what happens is. It, it, and it's not an age thing, it, you know, no matter what it is, it's a, it's a mental type thing. Like, it's not that you need it, but it could always be better, right? right. It can always be better. So the smart guy buys some v- vagina vitamins too in to be, to have a complimentary pack for him and her. Because what happens is when, like I said, pink health allows a woman mentally to be more fully present and open and relaxed, right? But what black health does for him for us, it allows us to be more relaxed mentally. It allows us to be more focused on pleasure, not just our own pleasure, but our partner's pleasure, right? So when you all take him, when, when he's on black hairs and she's on pink hairs, what it does, it, it increases the connection, like the, the energetic connection as far as your heart, it increases it. So y'all have like, y'all are blasted into the pleasure verse. Like it's unreal. Measure, Unreal. I like yes, that. Yeah. That's dope. Um, okay, so so you're suggesting that a couple get them both, or yes. that even a couple like dudes should just have both of them on deck. Yeah. And oh yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Work because the thing is, it's like you you always have that one. You always have the one. You'd be like, she's with it. Everybody ain't gonna be with it, but you got that one, or you may have two that they they down they down for it, right? And and. The, and <laughs> And and those are the ones you say, well, listen, here's this product. It's all natural. And uh, on everything you can read, the ingredients, you can look up all the herbal ingredients on it. 100 percent all natural. And they're coming. The pink hefts are coming a vegan capsule. Right. Oh, so no. it's a it's a very incredible product. But trust me that mm, that's all I'm going to tell you. It will change your life. Get out of it. You know what? You should. Uh, where's my credit card? <laughs> oh, no, no problem, sir. <laughs> like in the chat room too, by the way. Uh you got I think you have some customers in your chat room too. Yes, uh, yes. Uh I want to go to the pleasure verse. Hilarious. Uh <laughs> all right. That is that that's dope. So uh are there any side effects? No, no. Um, well, um, hold up real quick. My side. Um well, put it this way. I, even though whatever happens while you're on pink hairs ain't really my fault, it really is my fault when you're on the hairs, right? Mm-hmm. So there may be one side effect where if you really ain't trying to get pregnant, <laughs> <laughs> if you make sure you got some kind of protection, whatever, because like there's one of the herbs in pink hairs really helps with helps make women a lot more fertile, right? Oh, okay. It, yeah. Now I'm. I didn't. I didn't know this, but I sort of knew it when I had it in there. But like, I give you for example. I got a testimony a year ago from a customer. Her 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 doctor told her she could never have kids. Mm-hmm. Guess what? She took pink health one night. She took. She was adventurous. She took two of them. Right. Mm. Next next thing you know, she was like, "I got to tell you something." Uh, she, 
now her son is almost a year old. He's almost one year old. Wow, a half baby. Yeah, this, it's a it's a lot of them out here. I'm like, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, wh- okay, now I'm gonna throw out a scenario. You tell me sure. what would happen. So let's say Shannon throws in, oh. she takes a pink half. Yes. But then all of a sudden she gets called in at work. She's already taken it. So now mm-hmm. she's gotta be at work on the, the half. Oh, yeah. So, what, like, I mean, is she gonna be messed up in the game? Like, she can't do nothing? No, no, I'm, I'm not necessarily saying that, that she can't do nothing. I mean, Shannon may always she may be able to break away in the bathroom real quick. Maybe maybe, <laughs> maybe she maybe, maybe she got a bullet in a, in a bag, you know what I mean, or something like that. Or maybe she can ride out to the car or something, or or in the break room, <laughs> whatever. But but the one thing about it is a, a woman may feel the effects of pink hefts anywhere from two to seven days after you take it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So 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 you're gonna notice like you may feel. Shannon may feel a little tingling at first and like, oh wow, what's what's going on? But I guarantee you, uh, if you get called to work, make sure you take some extra panties. Right? <laughs> I'm, I'm real talk. I'm trying to tell you because it's gonna be the panties gonna be soaked. <laughs> You'll call your yeah. man up like, hey, can you bring yeah. the panties uh, to? to yeah. The- <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. In, in, fa- in fact, sir, I'm meet you in the car. Let, let me get on that face real quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <You> know what <laughs> I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's what's up, man. Yes. All right. And and, and, and vice versa for you, Kente, right? Uh-huh. Say if you took a black half, right, and you got called into work, or say 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 you were the minister of music. I'm just I'm just using this for the church, right? right, so right. Say you took it and you had to go in for a special rehearsal, right? Now, you you black hairs helps it, it it helps enhance your god dick chi, right? Right. So it, it's got Black health is the god dick pill. I'm just gonna let you know that, all right? Yeah. 81, 81 point Kobe. That's what you're gonna be on black health. But what what happens is mentally you got to be able to turn it off. You gotta be like, oh yeah, he's right there. Okay, cool, and turn it off. But when you're ready, when you are ready, it's gonna be like a a, a flick of the switch, poof, like that. It's gonna be like a lighter, like you lit the lighter, and that's what's gonna happen. So the thing is, when you're not ready, you you straight. But you're gonna fit it in your system. But when you are ready, mm, yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, so you gotta, oh yes, sir. Keep you stay ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you ain't got to get ready because you already ready. So do um, the co-host of the Mars and Venus show get to try this out? <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, your birthday's coming up, right? <laughs> All right. Okay. Yes, I yes. got you. For it. I'm gonna say, no, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get some incentive for you right there. Now, now check, check, now check this out, right? So I told you about when I created that product, right? So one of the, one of the other things that I really wanted to do is, um, I wanted to create an edible version of my product, right? I always wanted to do that. Like it was in my mind. So one, one of one of one of my one of my uh one of my employees, which I call them the Hefts Honey Bunnies, right? They're my brand ambassadors, and they go around with me all over the country to different events, and they, they help vending and stuff like that. So um, Jay Bunny, that's her name, she 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 was trained in culinary school. So we talked about it like, you know, we, I want to come up with a macaroon, a cookie, or whatever. So one day, she, she, I woke up, and she sent me this thing. She was like, look at this brownie, right? Mm-hmm. And we, create, we created this brownie, and it's not an edible. I call it a sextable. It has no TAC, no C- CBD, but it's infused with the with the pink and black hair. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what it look like. This is the juicy fired pussy treat, right there. You see that? Oh. It's a chocolate drizzle strawberry brownie. That so it's infused with the pink hair vitamins, and this is the god dick treat. It's <laughs> a chocolate chip caramel brownie, and it's infused with the black hair vitamins. Yeah. That's oh like, man! Yeah, yeah. I, I, so the, you know, it's like it's like it's like really. If you look at like I had to I had to evolve evolve the product line because don't get me wrong, with pink and black heads with the supplements is great to introduce them to new people across the world. However, some people want to ingest it. Like sometimes you 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 may you may want to heat something up, add a little ice cream to it, right? Right. Or heat that heat that thing up, and it's it's. It's gonna be on it popping, man. So yeah, 
Oh man, that's so cool. And you said it's been out since 2010. So yeah. And now th- th- those are the supplements and really the the uh the the treats, the sexables, we uh brought those out 2000 2000 nope. 2019. So about a year. Hmm. Why are we bullshitting? We should just have a uh Pink hefts and uh, black hefts uh, IV just go right into you. <laughs> oh Lord, that's, Lord. that's intense. <laughs> like Michael, like Michael Jackson said, "Heal the world, make it a better place." There, hey, there you go, there you go. And that mm-hmm. is dope. So now I see that you travel around the country and um, promoting your product and other things. Yes. Um, so when you come across people who have tried it and who stand by it and stuff, what are some of the things that they say? Um. Well, let me see. Mm, boy, I, so many things. Um, first of all, they thank me. They give me a big hug. Like, um, I was. I, I'm based here in Charlotte, North Carolina. So I went to this. I was doing some. Um, I was slated to do some sensual dom work and some instruction and teach. And we'll talk about that at, at this at this tantra event. And lo and behold. One of my customers was there. She was like, oh, like, one of my customers and, like, three of my followers was there on Instagram. And they were like, oh, my God. Oh, did this product. Are you? Is that your product? And they, they, she started telling me about her experiences. And it's just an everyday thing. Like, people come up to me and they were like, like, I've never experienced orgasms like that in my life. Wow. Ever. Like, ever. Th- this one lady, she said when her... She said, "When her lover just just came ni- came near her vagina, she started having an orgasm." I was like, "Oh, oh wow!" L- l- <laughs> yeah, listen, listen. I was like, "Oh my!" And you know, and men have told me just how, just how like their stamina, how their erection is like. Like they don't fit. Like they do. They don't have no hard race, and they like they can go on and on and on. And even even when they are sleepy, they body like. But they like I gotta go to sleep. They body like. Mm-mm. <laughs> Let, let's keep going. Oh yeah, That's yeah, good. yeah. That's so, um, okay. So that's cool. So it's all natural. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it um. So there's really no side effects. No, sir. Which no, is- no, 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 no headaches. No, no heart racing. Um, like a lot of people, like, well, you know, I work this job, and no, this these herbs. If if you could take echinacea, right, which is not in the product, but if you take vitamin C, none of that's showing up on a, on a drug test, right? Like I said, these are all natural herbs. The, it's from the earth, so it's not anything that's well. Weed from the herb too, but let's just say this. But it's not anything that has no THC, nothing like that, no kind of opiate opiate in there that if you took a, a drug test, it's gonna show up. Mm. Do do you feel like um because I think for a lot of people there's that whole barrier of oh man, I don't know if I want to take something and all of that kind of stuff. Which it seems like these days people are not as hung up on that. I mean, do you find mm-hmm. that that people are more open? um now they're more open, but when I first started, people were like, "Oh man, I don't need that." Now, th- th- now, typically, more African American people would tell me that. Uh, others, Caucasians, they like, "I'm with it." Yeah, yes, let, me, they, 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 let me let me try that, right? Right. But 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 because of you know because of the the tr- sexual trauma we that's in our DNA, right? Well, we're a lot, especially we as African Americans, are very sexually repressed. So. And through the church and stuff like that, sex is looked at as something that's shameful, right? Even though motherfuckers is fucking like a motherfucking baby still still coming, right? But it's like, don't touch yourself. Like, be ashamed. Like, you, you're being judged by what you do, right? So it was a stigma. Now, people are becoming more open now, but still now, you know, people are like, oh, no, I don't really need it. And, oh, I'm good enough. I'm wet enough. I'm, I'm good. Okay. Well, it's you can stay good. Or you can be dynamic. Now, me personally, I want to be dynamic, right? Mm-hmm. So, but you, but you can stay. You can I'm, you stay good. Stay right there. Like I, t- I, I talk to people. I'm like, listen, that's like saying you're already at a million dollars and you have an opportunity to make a hundred million dollars, and you like, oh, I'm just taking this meal. I don't need that other part. 
Oh, okay. It ain't for you. Like it ain't for everybody. And I don't I don't try to force it on anyone. Like I'm not doing no I'm not doing any kind of hard sales. It is what it is. Like the proof is in the pudding. Like you can go read all the testimonies on the website. You can look at everything. You can do the research on all the herbs and then and you will see that just try it, right? Just try it. Why not? Mm-hmm. Okay. So um uh, I think you sold a lot of us on it, and I'm pretty sure the the sales will be coming in right when we're done, or if not, right now. Uh, and and we're going to do this at the end of the show. But if somebody wants to pick up the product, how can they do that? Um, in, in fact, let me, let me see here. Um, I got Nutella on here. Uh, Nutella, do me a favor. Could you please put the website in here for Pink House and Black House? Thank you so much. Um. Yes. So actually, you'll see that um, if people are watching, though, you can go to www.pinkhefs.com. That's P-I-N-K-H-E-F-F-S dot com or blackhefs.com. That's B-L-A-C-K-H-E-F-F-S dot com. Or if you're on Instagram, follow the Pink Hefts page at Pink Hefts at Black Hefts on, on there. You can actually order from off those pages as well. All right. So, so um, I want to another thing, too, that uh, that you do. Uh, and if you follow this brother on Instagram, you, you'll kind of see some elements of it. Uh, so. So, like, I've seen you at um, conventions and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And you, you, you do a very interesting um, display. <laughs> at your, uh, at the, <laughs> Actually, I saw, you know, Maisha. Yes. Uh, Maisha was on one of yours as well, which that was. Yes, she was. I think if I remember, I'm trying to remember, is that how we first met? Was was it through Maisha or uh, uh, might have no. been? No, no, it wasn't. Maybe what? I can't remember how we met, but it was. I don't know if it was Maisha. It may have been. Because I know you guys were on the same show together. So I, I can't remember. But that was like a, a while ago. But anyway. Yes. So, so um, you said now you refer to yourself as a dom trainer, like how did well, I, well I, I am a sensual dom. So w- when I say that, that is in BDSM you have dominance and you have a submissive, right? So um, the dominant is the one who 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 gives the the punishment, and the submissive is the one who receives it, right? So. Um, a lot of people have really BDSM stands for bondage, dominance, sadomasochism, or slave master, whichever one you want to do. And what happens is that um, it's a power exchange. Like the dominant is really not in charge of doing a play scene. The play scene is something where you are really engaged with your submissive. The submissive is really the one that has the power that's in charge because if the if the if the safe word is Nutella. <laughs> then if if the submissive whether it's a man or a woman or how, which, whichever way they identify with their gender with if they say Nutella then the dominant has to stop immediately right so you have, you have it, it's, it's clear to find, there's clear defined rules like there's clear defined rules of consent of, of boundaries everything like everything is spelled out like this, 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 and there's always negotiation, and there's there's no editing to the negotiation when you play. So, I, I I really got into this, you know, back in the day, of course, watching real sex on HBO, right? You're like, oh wow. And I remember when I was in the army in Germany, when I was a I was a, a young young spirited na- nasty person, right? <laughs> um, um, I remember going to the brothels in 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 Germany. And I remember on this one floor, it was this, it was this, this female dominant, and she had like the whips and these wheels. I was like, oh my gosh, she was like, come here. I was like, uh uh-uh. uh. Now at that time, I'm like, I'm like 21. I'm like, oh no, I don't know about this. But you know, I ain't gonna front. After a while, I was like, I went there by myself one time. I was like, I'm gonna check it out, see what it's about. And she spanked me, and I was like, oh my god, like. I was I was like aroused and it, I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. Like, damn. Well, my mama was beating my ass. That was traumatic. <laughs> but but I got my ass whipped by this woman. It was great. And then so a few years, a few years, um, I had another opportunity to be in a submissive position. Um, because the one thing about in BDSM is you have some people which are dominance, 
who've never been submissive. And you have some people that are submissive that have never been dominant, right? But then you have people which are both, and those are called switches. And they switch between dominant and submissive. But it's, you don't do it with everyone. Like everyone. And the one thing about BDSM and submission, submission is earned. It's never it's never expected or assumed and same thing for dominance. So if someone, I, I'd give you for example, so if Shannon wanted me to dominate her, right, right, in a, in a scene, then it's really up to me whether I whether I choose to or not. Just because just cause they want, I'd be, I'd be like, oh, I'm good, right? Or if I want to dominate her, she has, she has, I have to earn, I have to earn her trust. I have, you have to you have they have to know that they're safe and protected and that's one of the that's one of the things about it that i've really found out is and when especially when it comes to <clears throat> comes to women women have some trust issues and the reason why that it is is because they they haven't felt safe and they haven't felt protected right um and me, we men violate their consent and their boundaries all the time. We grab them without their consent. Let me grab their ass, girl. Let me grab them titties, right? And come here, oh, let, me, let me holler at you. Let me pull you and talk to you, right? So it's violation of consent. The one thing that I teach in my seminars is I teach, I teach this wonderful seminar around the country called The Central Art of Impact Play. And the one basis of it I tell people is how to own your no, right? Own and demand your no's, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> know your boundaries, if if you don't consent to it, they, they don't have your permission without consent. Consent is very, very key. Boundaries are very key and spelled out in BDSM. And the one thing I like about it is it's helped me in my regular life, just in business, everything because, because of this. So what a lot of people see, what you saw on Instagram um, and what I teach. So I started teaching my seminar at Exotica. So Exotica is the sex is the Adult Industry Expo, where AVN is the award show that they have in Vegas for 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 film. Exotica is the expo, so you have you have adult stars from all over the country. They come to there are four different locations. You have it in Chicago, um, they have it in Edison, New Jersey. They have it in Miami, and this year they have it in, in D.C. Last year, the, the 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 third city was Portland, and the year before that it was Denver, and so. Um, back in 2018 in Denver is the first time I did my seminar, right? And it was, you know, I, it was like I was just doing this. And the reason why I started teaching this is because I started teaching what I do. And what I do is I don't go straight to the spanking, all right? It's about connecting with the heart space, right? So if, if what, what you saw, especially when you saw with Maisha, what I was doing was I was connecting with the heart space and I was, I was talking to her in her ear and she knew at that moment that her safety and her protection, her pleasure and her pain were my priorities. I let her know that up front. I told her you're safe with me, right? I was like, listen, when you fall back, I'll catch you. So a lot of times is Especially when when women women are in a dominant position all the time, they have kids. They're always telling somebody what to do, right? All this, but at some point in time, if they if if they can trust you, they can let go and give you control. So that's the one thing. It's about establishing that kind of immediate trust where the woman feels comfortable enough and safe enough and protected enough to know that if they fall back, I'm gonna catch them. And I'm like. Just sit back, sit back, sit back on the seat, lay back and relax, and let's go on this journey. All right. And I and I take them on a journey through pain and pleasure. Because there's pleasure in the pain. Right. Mm -hmm. And I and and I, I help them release the things that no longer serve them in life. Like if you had a fucked up day or whatever, get, give me all that. Like I'm built for it. I'll take it all. Like, give me all that. What if, if if you can cry, it's okay for you to cry. There's no judgment, right? When when we when we are in a play scene, it's about us. I don't care who's watching, or if it's just me and you. It's it's about us at that moment. And I tell them in their ear, in, in this moment, I own you. In that in that moment, I own you. You're all mine, right? Until we're done. After we're done. You're going to be activated. You're going to be much better than you, than you were when you came in. See you next time. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Uh, what did you say, Shan? I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, now do you, so you instruct women 
on on that, right? Well, oh, so my seminar, I teach single men, single women. I teach couples on how to, I teach them the sensual BDSM techniques, right? So I teach them, first of all, I teach them, we talk about consent boundaries, um, how to define who's going to be the dominant, who's going to be the submissive, and, and certain roles, the importance of safe words, right? Because these are things that at, as you're playing, like safe word can be pineapple, that's because everyone knows pineapple, right? Like I let people know that this really this is not fifty shades of gray. This is not where the woman is weak and meek and all that, and the guy's the one in charge because just because you're a submissive does not mean that you that that does not make you weak at all. Right. It makes you very powerful. And it's all about as a dom, it's all about respecting, respecting their vulnerability and and also as also being vulnerable too. like let them know. And and because as a dominant, you're going to receive pleasure as well from what what you're engaged with with them. Right. So I teach them that I also teach how to properly choke. Right. (laughs) <laughs> how to how to use things like sensation play like fingernails mm-hmm. um i teach flogging but my my one thing that i teach which is my specialty is how to hand spank and how to activate the booty tenderloin the booty tenderloin uh, oh yes sir tell yes. me about this booty tenderloin yeah, i'm all ears yeah so okay so all right so on the ass right on the ass like that's especially when you hand spanking you know ladies i know y'all ladies have have experience Men that has spanked your ass too damn hard doing some sex, like, oh, it hurts a little bit, right? Right? Because they think that they got to hit you real hard. Like, you have to build, it's about to build up, right? So, the booty tenderloin is that little piece at the bottom, in, in, in the crack of the booty that's at the bottom, right? That if you grab it with your hand, it'll like fit in your hand like this, right? It'll fit in your hand. You can just squeeze it and rub on it. It's just that little part. And what it is, is because that part is so near, mm-hmm. so close to the 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 nerves of the anus and the vagina, right? Like re- repeated, repeated. It doesn't have to be hard impact. Repeated sp- spanks with the hand sends like this jolt of 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 like divine orgasm energy th- through through the submissive, and, and and they will be they will. Like they won't, they won't even be there no more. They're, this, they're in this thing that's called subspace, which is a, which is a deep orgasmic sort of trance. Hey, so I, mm-hmm. so fellas out there, find that ten, booty tenderloin. Oh yeah, but but the thing is, like you can find a booty tenderloin. However, in order for you to know how to activate it properly, you must come to one of my seminars because just because you know where it's at, don't mean you know how to activate that thing. You know what? Uh, come on, tender booty me, <laughs> Larry. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go to the class so I can find that tender line. Uh, yes. All right. So also, when you are a dom, you got to have a cool dom name, right? Uh, yes. Well, yeah. It's it's it's, it's King Health, but th- this 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 past weekend in Charlotte. They, they 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 told me uh, my 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 new nick my new dom nickname is Daddy Health. I was like, oh okay, <laughs> all right. I'll, you know, I'll accept that. I, I'll accept that. But but what I do is, um, like when we do when we when we're involved in the play scene, I tell them I'm like, listen, the proper response is yes sir, no sir, yes daddy, no daddy, yes king, no king. Or yes, master, or no master. And I'm like, which one resonates with you best? And they'll think about it for a minute and they'll tell me, right? So when I'm in the scene, sometimes they'll be like, yes, master, and or yes, daddy, right? Or yes, king, or yes, sir. So as we're going through a scene, and the one thing about it is that um, if they don't answer properly, Right, because I gave them the proper commands. That's when behavior correction. That's when they receive baby behavior correction. I don't give them punishment. That's what you give children and, and and dogs. Right, right. But I give them behavior correction. Right. So behavior correction may be because they're on a high from receiving the impact from being choked from having this sensation. And if they don't a- answer properly, like I feel they should answer, they don't feel into. I don't feel like they're enthused, then I'll just walk away and I'll leave them for a while. I'll be like, when you know how to act, I'll come back. Mm. So so now mentally, like, 
don't leave. Where are you going? I'm like, you, and you better not move. If you, if I tell him, if you move, your ass got to go home. <laughs> like I, I ain't putting nobody in corners. None of that. Uh, uh-uh, okay. Mm-mm. I, I may, I, you may get two strikes, or you may get three. Depends on how I feel, because it's about how, how I feel. Like, uh, you know what? I'm done. See you later. But it's your fault. If you got to go home, it's your fault. Remember that. Mm. How long did it take before you felt like you got to a point where you you really understood that whole world and you became like an expert in it? Um, well, put it this way. I still feel I'm not an expert. I'm still learning every day. I'm learning something new about myself, about this world every day. But at, in this dom space, I've really been doing it now almost three years now oh wow okay. yeah almost three years and when i tell people that they be like what that's it i'm like man you know i mean because like i say i, I was a, like me personally i was a i was one of the kids that if i saw something in the porno i would look in a book and read up on it so you know i would i would look at player magazines playboy penthouse hustler you know what I'm saying like i would look at all these things and i would just be amazed like Oh my god! And then I would read the stories. Like I would read the stories, and like my you know my mom had them books. I wasn't supposed to be reading them novels, and I would read them. I'd be like, "Oh shit, that's what it's about!" All right? And then I would do research. So I and then stuff like real sex happened. I'm like, "Oh, all right." I'm curious. <laughs> like I'm more curious about this. So so for me, it was just a natural progression of who I am as far as my own sexuality and. And how I feel about myself, right? And things I'm open to because me personally, I'm all about, I'm always looking for new ways of pleasure, right? Not for only myself, but for my partners, right? Like, hey, let's try, you down with trying something? And luckily, I just attract, I just attract women who are, who are pretty much, you know, they, they are, they are down to, to go, go down, down this journey with me. And it's cool. I love it. In our chat room, uh, Brother Melvin says, help me out I, I'm as an old guy because uh, this sounds like pimping to me. So what's the difference between uh, pimping and, and uh, what you do? Well, uh, let me see. Pimping, you put women on the corner and you're making money from, you're profiting off of, off of the backs of somebody else. I ain't profiting with nobody. All I'm doing is activating and healing, right? So mm-hmm. a pimp, what a pimp does is the pimp, he has his top bitch and his bottom bitch, and he has all them, and they he put them on the corner, and they bring the money back to him, right? And either he decides to pay them or he won't pay them. That's what a pimp is. I ain't no pimp, right? I'm I'm a I'm a gentleman, mm-hmm. right? So as I'm an OG, I'm an original gentleman. That's what I am, right? And I and I because I respect women, right? I treasure women. I give I give women unconditional love. Right. Because I I'm unconditional love. So because I love myself unconditionally, I attract women who love themselves unconditionally as well. So this definitely ain't no pimp shit. But I'm I do dress flies a motherfucker, but I'm not allowed. To, <laughs> right. Right. But no. Mm-mm, mm-mm. What are some uh, misconceptions about the whole BDSM world that you've come across that people think who are not involved in it? Um, that is abuse. Um, that it's all about whips and chains. They think that it's all about pain, right? And pain, 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 pain. That's what people think it is because just because of things that we've seen in the media, right? Movies, um, you know, perception, they think, and they say, that's what some white people said. <laughs> like, like I've, I've had, I've had people, they'd be like, black people don't do that. I'd be like, what? Like, Okay. Mm. You choking somebody at home, ain't you? That's you can you know what I mean? like if if you if you're having sex with someone and they want you to choke them, that's that's some BDSM shit. You don't know what it is, but but the one thing about it is that it's nothing to play with because like there have been times that I've been performing at places or doing demos and people be like, Man, I'm gonna try that. I'm like you realize that you could kill somebody. Like it's really like you tote that line, especially with choking. Like you can asphyxiate somebody to the points where they're gonna pass out, and you cut and you cut off the oxygen to their brain. Right? That that's really real. Like, it could really happen. 
Right. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's easy. Like at any moment, you can end up in the back of a police car or at the hospital. Right. Yeah. So, so, so it's it, it is it's control. It's it's all about the control. It's it's about the controlling of of it, and it's not violent at all. There's nothing violent about it because the person is ex- is, is is receiving extreme pleasure from the pain, whether it's a little bit or it's a lot. There's some extremes in everything. Some people are what they call pain sluts. That's what they call themselves. They like a lot of pain. I mean, but some people aren't. But that's that's why you always have to ask questions like what's your hard limits, what's soft limits. When it comes to hard limits, those are things that are like, hell no, right? I ain't doing that shit. I don't want to receive it. A soft limit is like, I want to do that. And then you have stuff which are like, uh, maybes then that's all you have to do. And you have to constantly have communication. You have to watch their body language, everything to know what's, what's happening because what you don't want to get, because, because doing a play scene, the submissive can get so deep, can go so deep that they, they, they may not make any more noises you, and you just keep going and you're not paying attention and they gone and you don't know how to bring them back. Mm. Oh, wow. So, so, so you, 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 you yeah, so 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 when 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 they had a deep thing called subspace, which I said is like a deep orgasmic trance, you as a dominant, you can't go down that way too. Like both of y'all can't drown. Somebody got to be the life preserver, and you are essentially the life preserver for them. Where you're bringing them back. That's why you have to stop for a while. You have to communicate with them all the time. Like it's just is this, is this just right or too much? And you you allow them to say, listen talk to me and if, if you see if they start crying you have to immediately stop you have to attend to them would you like me to hug you You have to ask those questions like that and then when you're done then that then the aftercare comes me personally i i like i like hugs like i like a deep healing hug that i'm holding them up because they're i'm trying to bring them back like talk to them in the air you're so amazing that's why i do affirmations throughout the time like throughout the times so i make them yell i'm amazing i'm the shit like like that's what it is because you're constantly you're constantly making you 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 are know you're making them better through this their their relationship that no longer serves them right mm-hmm. oh wow yeah. i never thought it you know i never thought about it in that that way um so this is it was very interesting so and you said you're in north carolina so do you I do am. a lot of local business there um not really. I don't because, I, you know, not saying there's not a kink community here, but um, I get more love outside of where I live. Like, I just, I live here right now. I've done stuff here in Charlotte, but that's when I was a part of an entertainment, a part of a show. But when I started doing my own seminar, I found out that it's much better, like D.C., New Orleans, Atlanta, um, New Jersey, New York. When I, when I go to these places to do my seminar, they, they value what I teach and they come out. Right. So that's why um, this year I'll be doing stuff. And like I did something in Louisville, Kentucky. I had a big crowd. I'm doing something in Philadelphia on on this Saturday. I got I'll be in D.C. on Friday. Um, and then but I'll be coming out to California real soon. I'll be doing Texas. I am think I'm going to do Texas next month. I'll be doing Dallas, Austin and Houston next month. And then in, and then in May, I'll be doing Florida. I'll be doing Orlando, um, Tampa, and Miami. Oh, okay. No, you're not and, driving and, by Key West, no? Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Key West, they can come on up. But now, now, if somebody brings me to Key West and brings me down there and they pay for me to come down there to teach, hell yeah, I'll go down there. And that's the one thing about it is a lot of people are like, oh man, would you come to such and such? I'm like, I have no plans, but if you want to bring me out there, we could talk you know, on, on what it, on what it has to be. Um, but definitely when I come out to California, I'll be doing Oakland, um, LA and San Diego. Okay. All right. You yeah. Be out yeah, yeah. My town. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And where are you from originally? Uh, I grew up in Greensboro, North Carolina. Oh, okay. So you are in North yeah. Carolina. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, I'm, I'm really interested, uh, your family, right. Um, when you kind of got into all of this, uh, how, do, how were they when you, you know, Oh well, you know, <laughs> you know what's really wild is I, I remember being a kid and one of my mom's good friends, which was my best friend's mother, I've been I may have been like eight or nine. She was like, You just a dirty old man. I'm like, how do you see that? Like as a kid. <laughs> so like 
you know, when when I started getting into um, the Magic Power Coffee, my mother she was down with it. like my my mom was like my mom was my biggest. I built my biggest downline through my mother. Mom, my mom was fully with it. But the thing is, like my mom, I've never seen my mom work for anybody other than herself. So my mom is very big on me being an entrepreneur. She that's why I learned all that from from her. And she's like, listen, if that's cool, you make money doing it. That's all that matters. And you're helping people. That's that that's that's the thing. So I don't I don't really get anything from my family. Like now, the one thing I have had some family members who was like, man, you be posting some wild stuff on Facebook. I'm like, listen. You got one or two options. You can unfriend me or you can unfollow me. It's two things, but I'm going to continue to talk what I talk about. It's not a big deal. Like, and I, a long time ago, um, like when I went through my process of learning how to love myself more, right, to trust myself more, I stopped really giving a fuck about what anybody thought or said about me or what I do, right? Because I don't care. Like the only, the only thing that matters, what matters is what, what I like, what I do. Right. And, and, and I, I will, I will, I will bring my tribe to me. Right. I don't, I don't, I don't do this for nobody else's approval. If you don't like it, cool. I don't care. I, I do not care. Like I'm, your opinion, like now, and, and if, if you, your opinion is cool, you can keep it to yourself. But if, if you, if you, if you talk about millions of dollars, then your opinion will matter to me a lot more. Mm-hmm. But until then, if you ain't spending no money with me, you, whatever you got to say, I really don't care. I don't care. I, I really don't. And 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 I I talk to people all the time about really really letting go of toxic people in your life and toxic situations. And if you all people are always in your life t- talking about are oh, they judging you for what you're doing? Instead of judging me, what what are you doing? Look in the mirror and look at yourself. That's mm-hmm. the one thing about it is like, what do you what do you think about yourself? You're always telling me what I'm doing wrong. What about you? Can you look yourself in the mirror? Right? Like, can you can you realistically tell yourself that? Look at yourself in the mirror and say, "Self, I love you." Probably not, right? Most people are out here living for everybody else, but don't. But by the time they find out they can live for themselves, it's, it's done. It's they old late. as hell. It's too late. So at some point in time, you have to learn how to live for yourself, right? One of the most, the one of the most life changing songs ever for me in my life is Michael Jackson's "Man in the Mirror," right? Because mm-hmm. I had to make a change. I had to make a change for me, right? Not for my mama, not for my aunties, not for my cousins, not for my lady, not for nobody else. I had to make the change for me first. Right. In order in order to attract everything I want in my life, divinely as far as the, the kind the kind of money I want to I want to have, the kind of life I want to have, the kind of happiness I want to have, the kind of, the kind of women that I want to attract to my life, the kind of network that I want to attract. I had to start with me first. It all starts with me first. Once I got to learn how to love myself and trust myself unconditionally and 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 let and let go of Worrying about what other people thought about me, mm. my God, divineness. <laughs> Look, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, people are like you. You talk about sex too much. Yep. So sure <laughs> like, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. What's up, Bobby? He just came in the chat room as well. Um, okay, so let me. Um, let, uh, it isn't just the the pink and black hefts. Don't you? Um, you also have other products on the market too. Uh, no, I just have that. Then I I'll, now, if you go to my website, I have I have a I have a toy collection. So I have yes, I do right. have I do have a line of sex toys you can order from the Pink Health site. Also, I have a line of kink collection that you can order from the website. So when anyone goes to pinkhealth.com and you you click on the little thing that says shop, look at all the categories. Like it's a lot, it's a lot of stuff in there. A lot, like it's a lot of stuff in there for you. A lot. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so what's the future look like as far as the company's going and whatnot? Um. Well, we just expanded into London. London is blowing up. Last wow. year, la- la- last year I launched into Kenya. Kenya is going 
like crazy. Ooh, wow. Okay. Um, and Nigeria just opened up as well, so we're working out some logistics with um with Nigeria as well. Um, as far as the shipping, because once once we find a reliable shipper that don't try to hit us in the head, and you can get everything through customs, then Nigeria is gonna be wide open. And um, my my realistically, my goal I'm expanding through the states, but my goal is to really, really the next move is Africa. That's the next move. I'm trying to tell you. If, if you got a business or a product, Africa is the next move. In fact, that a- Akon, I-, I remember watching this video, Akon was on The Breakfast Club, and he was talking about that. He was like, the next wave is Africa. Right. And if you if you look at Africa, all, all these countries are investing all this money and infrastructure and everything in Africa, because Africa is the next the next global power um, that's, that's going to blow really and 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 and, and 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 it's best like why not like everybody want to go to ghana everyone want to know why they everyone's talking about his home going to ghana but like yo like people don't understand how beautiful like when i because i'm going i'm going i'm gonna do my seminar and i'm doing a, a wonderful launch in, in nairobi kenya later on this year i cannot wait to visit the beaches of kenya i can't wait right 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 and my, my by next year Next year, my goal next year is to own property and have a house in Kenya. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. Um, I'm sp- I'm supposed to go to Ghana in August, so oh, I'm man. looking forward to that. Yeah, um, it's funny though; they always talk about China or Asia, Europe. They never talk about Africa, man. They, of course not. Yeah, they 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 want you to feel like they ain't nothing. Yeah. But no, nah, oh, man, that that's dope, yeah. man. Um. That, you know, uh, once again, I, I want to thank you for coming on this program. And, uh, you know, uh, I know we said it already, but once again, reiterate, how can we get you in social media and tell us the websites? And when when when, when can people see you next live? Um, all right. Well, um, this Friday, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This this Saturday, I'll be doing my Central Art of Impact Play seminar in Philadelphia. Um, if you want to get tickets, the best place to go is on the Instagram page. Um, Instagram is where, like, I'm, I'm not really active on Facebook, um, just because after the third time I get in probation on, on Facebook jail, I'm good. I I, I get it. Mm-hmm. So Insta- Instagram, Twitter. So Instagram, Twitter at Pink Hefts, um, Instagram at Black Hefts, um, at King Hefts, at um, the Hefts Lifestyle, um, uh, New. Um, let me see something real quick. Let me see. Um, Nutella, if you're still in here, can you put all of my um, all of my all my Instagram um handles on here, please? Um, but yeah, and also, so April April seventeenth through the nineteenth, I'll be at Exotica in Chicago. Chicago. That's Yes, I will be doing my seminar there. I'll be doing two seminars in Chicago, one on how to connect with the heart space. I'll be doing that one on Friday. Um, and on Saturday, the 18th, I'll be doing my uh, my Activating the Booty Tenderloin seminar. Okay. So, the, so, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so best thing is, is follow me on Instagram. Um, either of those, you, you, you'll know about all the tour dates that's coming up, everything. Like I said, if anybody wants to bring me to your city, or whatever, holler at me on the inbox here on, on Instagram, Facebook, or whatever. Uh, the website, pinkhealths.com, blackhealths.com, um, and treat yourself, right? Treat yourself, invest in your pleasure. Trust me, you will thank me for it. And who knows, maybe I'll do a personal... Uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Be like, hey, y'all, that shit work, y'all. <laughs> yeah. I... I, I tr- I, I, I trip a dog dare you to do it. Uh, said, they want to know, do you do webinars as well? Um, all right. So here's the thing with that. Um, I, I'm actually having someone who's working on a program, but as of right now, I'm not doing any webinars just simply because um, not right now, maybe, maybe later on this year, but right now it's really best to come to, to come get it in, in your face. Right. Because, um, certain things you can't learn through a sim- through a webinar. You can't. Certain things you have to be there, interacting, be very hands on. It's it's best for that right now. But in in the future, it's it's trust me. So many people ask me that, but in the future, possibly. But as right now, 
I would definitely follow those, follow my pages on Instagram, and you'll see exactly the schedule um, at, at that. And then also when you go on the Pink Hess page, there's a page for events. You get to see all the events where you can purchase tickets and, and come come interact and learn, right? And learn how to and um to to make your 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 life a little bit better, right? Add some kink into your life, sprinkle some kink, some kink season and all up in that thing. <laughs> I love it. And thank you, Nutella, for helping out. Oh, um, yes. Shannon, how can we uh get you in social media and all that good stuff? Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Shannon for like the president. Hyphen Jefferson, like the president. Okay. Yeah. And you know what's going to be in your stocking? I'm going to give you for a stocking stuff for, for Christmas. Uh oh. Um, some tacos. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. That's what we'll call it. Um, you can get me at Kente F on Twitter, Kente Ferguson on Instagram. And of course, the website is indyradio.org. That's I N D Y radio.org. Uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, for an all new episode of Men and Women Talk to Mars Venus Show. I want to thank our guests and everybody that listened. Easter basket, hilarious. Uh, and, uh, you know, we'll, you guys have a great rest of your week. Stay safe. Peace. Peace.